Welcome back to SWI. Today we're in Powell, Wyoming, and we're starting a new series called Things You Didn't Know You Needed until a guy in bright green shoes and bright green gloves from the county of Wyoming out west showed you that you did need them. The name's a work in progress. But anyhow, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. If you like what I'm about to show you, comment. There's even going to be a link down below, so if you really like it, you can buy it. Because that's what we do. But I'm betting a bunch of you didn't know this thing existed. So if you're a farmer or rancher, you probably know what this thing is. This is like high ho silver. This is the trusty goldenrod fence stretcher. It has been the pinnacle of fence stretching for as long as I can remember. This has been the go-to fence stretcher for many a cowboy and many a farmer for decades. But let me tell you what, if this has been your go-to tool, you've probably also fought all the other problems that this thing has. And just to illustrate that, this isn't mine. I had to go borrow this from my father-in-law. But as you well know, these things are notorious. These dogs are notorious for slipping. So you put your wire in there, and then you start cranking, and then you get it tight, and then it slips. These are always slipping, always slipping. And you gotta make sure that everything's just right. One of the other problems that we fight is that when we're trying to do really long runs and we've got a lot of slack to pull out, we may have to pull this off, wrap the post, readjust it, put it back on, stretch it back out, crank some more, and you might have to do that three or four times if you're trying to do a quarter mile run. So let's just see what happens if we put this on here. Ah. I really don't know why he's got these hooks welded on here. I'll have to ask him. What's that all about? I'm just gonna try and show you. So a lot of times we're taking these and we're beating on these with our hammer, just trying to get it to grab. This wire is pretty loose. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We already got some slippage going on. Now we're gonna lock in. So these things are notorious for slipping. Then to release them, pull this out and then you just knock that off. They are a little bit cumbersome to use. They don't stretch very far and they slip. That's, oh, I don't like that thing. I don't like it at all. Here's what we prefer to use. This is from Strain Right, and there are several variations of this tool, but all of them, all of this end look the same. And it has a swivel here, so this will swivel. And on this end, you can get several different variations. So if you look at them online and they all look the same, they're not quite the same. Some of them have that spring there, and some of them don't. And some of them have a swivel here, and some of them don't. This one does not have the swivel. Personally, I like the one with the swivel the best. Well, we'll show you two different ways to use it. So. so if we're just doing a repair, we connect this on here. Then one of the most important things to do is if you look down this chain, this is going to walk down the chain. So having all these lined up and not having it twisted a bunch of times is gonna be what you're gonna need to do. So we just look down and make sure all the, make sure all the links are oriented correctly then we can hook it in here so these you'll notice don't even have on these dogs that bite they don't even have grips and the other nice thing about that is they're not biting into your wire so once you get that on there once you get it tight it works a lot better but now we can really start pulling on this and we don't have any slipping so we can take this, we'll tighten it up, take all the slack out of it. When I get done with this, I have a fun fact about this fence right here. Actually, I built it. So this fence right here, all the way around this place, I built this in 1996, no, 95, 94. I started in 1994 and finished in 1995. It was the first job that we did after we worked for Carl Jones. And it's still here today. This used to be a lot heavier alkali, so it's really soft soil going that way. So still standing. Would I do a lot of things differently today? Yes, I would. Include using one of these handy dandy boundary strainers. And now you can see, that's what we use. So, so now you're thinking to yourself, well, Mark, how in the world? Because it's got a little clampy, hooky, thingy, doggy on this end. And it's got one on that end, how do I hook it on to a termination? Well, I'm glad you asked. There's two ways you can handle that. You can either 
put a hook on this end and just wrap it around with a hook. Or in a pinch, as it comes right out of the box, we can go like this. Just run it through itself, just like that. Now we'll put this on and we check our chain, try to make sure it's not twisted, then we'll put this on. And since we can't spin our, we don't have a swivel here and we don't have a swivel here now, it's really critical that we get that correct. Tight. Uh, you can get longer chains for these. You can get replacement chains for these. I have yet to break one. They are incredibly tough. You can stretch uh, high tensile wire, barbed wire, barbless wire, whatever you want. And this is way better than using one of those. So we started out our fencing career. When I did all this fence, I guarantee you, I did all this fence with a goldenrod stretcher exactly like that. Today, this is what I would use. So much better. So. If you're struggling with the golden rod and you're sick and tired of that thing and you want to throw it across the room, consider picking one of these up. Make your life, make yourself happy. Buy yourself an early Christmas present. Buy yourself an early birthday present. Buy yourself an early 4th of July present. Celebrate Wednesday. I don't care what you do. But until next time, you have a good dang day. What's that saying? You can learn a lot from a dummy, so if you think I'm a dummy, but you didn't know about that.